This video will look at how Q speed varies during a stroke for different stroke types and speeds. Let's start with the classic pendulum stroke at medium speed. Notice Bob's still elbow, smooth transition from back to forward stroke, and smooth acceleration during the forward stroke. Each stroke in this video was measured with a high speed video camera. We attached a scale to the cue. Each major subdivision is a tenth of an inch apart. We also filmed at 3,000 frames per second with an aperture time of 1 20,000th of a second. Here's Bob's stroke. Notice his smooth and slow backswing. He doesn't have a distinct or deliberate pause at the end of his backswing, but there's a very smooth transition to the beginning of his forward swing. You can see that he smoothly accelerates during his forward swing. Just before tip contact, he's reached his maximum speed. At tip contact, the cue dramatically slows down. Then the grip reaccelerates the cue slightly before it slows to a stop during the follow through. Here's a graph of Q speed in miles per hour versus Q distance in inches. As the Q is accelerated during the forward stroke, you can see the speed increase over most of the forward stroke. Just before contact with the ball, the Q is no longer accelerating. The speed has leveled out to a maximum constant speed. During the incredibly brief contact time, the Q loses about 40% of its speed. After tip contact, during the first part of the follow through, the Q speed increases due to momentum of the forearm and spring back of the grip. Finally, the Q slows to a stop during the remainder of the follow through. This is also a pendulum stroke with very little elbow drop, but here we have much faster acceleration. Here you can see the speed increasing more quickly over a longer stroke but it does level off to a maximum value just before impact. Some people actually accelerate their cue into the ball, so the speed is constantly increasing all the way up to contact. Here's an example from Dave Gross, a top regional player. Dave has a nice slow and smooth backswing with a distinct and deliberate pause before his forward swing. He also uses a lot more wrist in the shot and drops his elbow, both to achieve more power. Dave has really smooth acceleration with the speed constantly increasing during the forward stroke, but the speed appears to be still increasing when it hits the ball. So he truly accelerates into the ball. The Q also regains a lot more speed after impact during the follow through. The elbow drop also enables him to have a much longer follow through, which is not shown here.